<clears throat> Enjoy my new work. I do like the true silver with the coin. So, girls, then. Well, the work is since uh, June, actually. I think I want to be able to coin the true silver champion against potential mana tide or potential flame tank totem. Or primal fin also actually, right? I never noticed the shadow here, moving that. I wonder. It's interesting when you move it slowly, the, the signs on it move correctly when you go quick. They don't do it anymore. <laughs> Looks like I gave him a tough decision here. So that seems there's no flame tongue in hand. So let me know if you want to talk about your personal stuff or not. He's AFK. It's a bit weird. Mm, I'm sorry for him. He came back? No, I think he didn't. Well, yeah, what can I do? <coughs> Oh, he's back. No, he's not. Quite weird. I think I do play this one here. Don't think I need weaker flame against him when I already killed all his early game. No, you're not. I don't think you're distracting me. My answers might just be really slow. Oh, come on, another good guy? Like, there's so little he can actually get from his deck that is good for Barnes, right? And he gets a good, good Barnes card. I think this is, like, it's just the two totems. It's the Primal Fin. Uh, actually, the Flame Tongue Totem can sometimes be good, right? Flame Tongue, flame tongue Totem can sometimes be good. Mm, we do this. Ah, actually, we could. We could consider to play the war leader and send this one here. My board is already weak to devolve, right? A little bit at least. And he usually has weapon destruction, right? So. I think I like it like this. Question is if I go for the Stonehill Defender or I think I just make a guy. Or it's very weak. You don't have any friends? How can you not have any friends? Just go out and say hello to people. You will find friends in a second. 
not always good friends, that's for sure, but do we go for Terran here or for Equality? They both suck a little bit because of Karen. What does this one actually do? Does that somewhat help me? Together with the Equality, keeping stuff alive? Not really, they all have two attack at least. Hmm. Since we have two equalities, it's probably time for equality, right? <clears throat> and we have the one ones and stuff. <clears throat> so we do wanna kill this. We do wanna kill this. We do we wanna kill that Cairn? Yeah, probably. And then also we probably kill this one here, right? And then... We play this. And this, I think. Oh shit, double card draw. Mm. A little bit annoying. Don't think I can keep up with that. I think I do want the redemption. I might want to play equality again. Nah, I can probably play it next turn. Depending on what happens here. Well, where are you working or what are you doing? Are you a student? You are 18 years old, that's your main problem, I know that. <laughs> when you are 18 years old, everything just looks so grim. Trust me, my world looked much more horrible when I was 18 years old. Oh, trash. He got me. With that double card draw. Well, I need to Consecrate basically to come back in this game, right? Tyrion is actually not going to put me back in the game. But I think my only try Well, the main mes message I can tell you, that's also actually what some people told me when I was younger. It's going to change. Just relax and stand back. Wow. Well he did have a, an excellent curve here. Just relax, stand back and just wait. Your world is going to change. It's going to be different. You will pretty soon find people. Yeah, that will that will change a lot. When you go to college, uh, you will very likely find people that share your views. I mean, I don't know what your views exactly mean. If you are like, I don't know. Um, if you like, for instance, eat, eating other people, <laughs> that could be a little bit rare to find. But I don't think um, that that makes, uh, I, I don't think that that's your profession. You wouldn't be talking with me here about that. So it's probably you don't find other intelligent people. And don't worry, uh, there are lots of uh, other intelligent people. You will find them. Where are you from? United States? Uh, let's play around um, Volcanic Potion here and trade the small guy in.
Since we have two true silver champions, I probably take the true silver here to kill it. Yeah, so I'm obviously not from the United States, but I have been there for a couple of times. And I've been living in College Park for six months. It's very, that's like in, in Maryland, close to Washington. And I think your life is going to change a lot in college. So just wait for that. Just wait for it all to happen and relax and uh, don't worry about finding friends and stuff. It will just happen. Like, I don't know, do you, do you know, um, hmm, what's a good example actually? Hmm. Maybe Lisa Simpson. Lisa Simpson is a very good example. She's also, un until she grows up, she's never finding friends and always lonely and stuff, right? So. And she's a super nice person, right? So it's just that people around her are stupid. And sometimes it can be hard to find nice people. Hmm. Let's kill this one. Let's play this one into a potential mirror entity. Let's get the ball creeper against his deck. It is Miranity. Um, do we want to play this one? Just to have a bigger minion out? Problem is it doesn't really give me that much, right? But I guess we need the tempo plays. It might allow me to go for Consecrate or something next turn. <laughs> See? So relax and I'm very sure you will find uh, nice people to talk to in college. And if not, you will find them later. And I think with 18 years it's like super normal to be unemployed. Don't worry about that. That's like, it's not even unemployed. That's like, you're not old enough to work. Man, I was so like confused and stupid with 18. So, um, it's just, the thing is with 18, you know, that you've understood, uh, you know, you think you've understood the world, but once you are older, you understand that you actually have no idea about the world yet. So that is the thing. Steed or trade trade? No, I like the steed more. So don't worry about it. Just don't just keep doing your thing unless you like, I don't know, destroying other people's dreams or something. I don't know. But I think you I think you have a pretty good mind and there are also a lot of nice people in the United States and you do have some pretty awesome folks over there, so you you just need to find them some somehow sometime, because you also do have quite quite a good amount of people who are voting for Donald Trump. So <laughs> so he used to, did that polymorph came from the bubbling book actually no from the primordial glyph okay um. I think we just go walk. Ah, oh, come on. Bab bubbling book into Primordial Glyph. I think Primordial Glyph is probably the best card you can... The average best card you can get from Bubbling Book because then basically Bubbling Book dis discovers you something, right? It's like a one mana discover card. That's crazy. Obviously, sometimes when you exactly need one card, you can find something better from the bubbling book. But on average, that that discover primordial glyph should be the best you can get from the bubbling book. 
Because you, then you can actually choose. Okay, is he going to fight? No, wait. Iris? What? Why would you play the Catalyst's Tome last? Hmm. I don't think there's going to be a Meteor nor a... He wanted to set up for... He wanted to set up for Violence Portal, right? That's what he wanted. So I'm playing around Violence Portal here. <laughs> That's... Two false statements, I'm sorry. It's Hearthstone is not pay to win. Hearthstone is pay to learn. And Hearthstone is also not like everybody has the same RNG. That's how it's built. There's no one getting particularly lucky forever and no one getting particularly unlucky forever. So everybody has the same RNG. But I can really understand that that is very hard to understand. And if you actually have all the cards you want, you will very quickly realize that all the fucking cards don't help you to get uh, to high ranks. It doesn't help you. You will just see when you play the cards, you're like, oh, I have all the cards now. And I'm like, bam, bam, bam. And you still lose all the time. It's just when you... Does he run Doomsayer? No. Oh, this, the, the Crystal Runner. Right. So one of his cards is Violence Portal. Um, the secret. Damn it! I don't know if the secret was generated or not. That's terrible. Terrible looking. Let's see. This one would be nice into Mara Entity, right? Ooh. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so we probably try to get some survivability here on the Murlocs. Mm, that sucks. That is not what I wanted. Doesn't protect me from AoE. Let's say he has a Flame Strike. This goes down to 7. And he can hit with these two. Mm. So I guess we take attack because the other stuff is just pretty useless. So trust me, I have all the cards I want and I still... Um, I still... Especially there was a time, like I spent roughly 100 bucks. A little bit more because it was euros. <laughs> I spent roughly 100 bucks on cards. And afterwards, I was still not climbing any higher. Ooh. But why is he freezing me and not attacking? That's a bit weird. So does he want to... Hmm. Especially why didn't he attack with Pyrus? Let's try to find a Murloc that gives me health, right? On my guys. Hmm, doesn't help me. Does the AoE help me? Potentially, actually. Might be the best pickup here in this situation. Let's play this one. Check with the secret for Counterspell. It's not counterspell, so we can use the Consecrate to kill some of his stuff at least. And then this one next turn kills the 4 one if we want to. Yeah, sure, I can see that. Losing is not fun, right? You, you want to win every once in a while. It's not really fun if you keep losing. I can see that. I can recommend watching and reading my guides. <laughs> That's how I try to explain everybody how to get better. 
but it is hard work and it is hard it's just hard to understand the small little details the main problem is that the people don't watch like they don't look at the small little details they don't look at the turns one till five when they lose in turn eight uh, then they look that at the rng that happened in turn seven and in turn eight right and on the stuff that was played there but they never look at the one at the earlier turns where they usually uh, did lose the game oh shit but what i don't understand what he's not going to kill me is he Okay, we send, I don't know, this weaker Murlocs go here. And maybe even this one here. We have enough damage anyways, right? We want to lose more Murlocs though. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Um, um. um. You can never kill this one, right? We just win. Is he really going to kill me here? Fuck it. Excuse me, you are on fire. Wow. Healing please. Wow, if that card is another if that card is another another guy oh, he's just dead <laughs> how could he think that i would not attack i guess he was just fooling me or something 